In this video, we will walk through the basic steps required to automate and silently install Microsoft Office 365 using the Office Deployment Tool and Office Customization Tool. First, we will open our browser to the Office Deployment Tool download page. Click Download. I've downloaded the EXE to the C Downloads folder. Open an elevated command prompt by right-clicking on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Change the directory to the C Downloads folder. Enter the following command to extract the Office Deployment Tool files. You'll notice we're using the executable space forward slash extract colon and then the path to where we want the files extracted to. Press enter. Read and accept the Microsoft software license terms. Click continue. Click OK. As you can see, we've extracted the setup files to C Downloads Office 365. Inside the C Downloads Office 365 folder, we will delete the three XML files as we will be creating our own. Now we will navigate to the Office Customization Tool website to configure a custom XML file. Select the architecture you want to deploy Select the products and apps you want to deploy. Click the Office Suites dropdown. And for Office 365, our choices are 365 apps for enterprise or 365 apps for business. You also have the option to select a Visio version, a project version, and additional products such as a language pack or Office 365 Access Runtime. In this example, I'll include Visio and Project and the Office 365 Access Runtime. Next, we can select an update channel. In this example, I'm going to choose Monthly Enterprise. Select a version. I'm going to choose Latest. Under the Apps section, you can turn apps on or off to include or exclude them from being deployed. I'm going to exclude OneDrive and leave everything else on. You can enable or disable background service for Microsoft Search and Bing. In this example, I'm going to disable that. Click Next. Under the Languages section, we need to choose our primary language. Since I'm in the United States, I'm going to select English United States. You also have the option to select additional languages if you want, and additional proofing tools. Click Next. Under the Installation options, you can select where you want to deploy Office from. Your options are Office Content Delivery Network, a local source, or Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. In this example, I'm going to leave it as Office Content Delivery Network. You can learn more about the installation options with the hyperlink. Since we're performing a silent install in this example, we're going to disable the Show Installation to User. You also have the ability to shut down running applications prior to installation. Click Next. Under Update and Upgrade Options, again, you have the ability to choose between the Office Content Delivery Network, a local source, and Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager for getting your updates. I'm going to leave the default in this example, and I'm going to set Automatically Check for Updates to Disabled. Under the Upgrade Options section, you have the ability to uninstall any MSI versions of Office, including Visio and Project, prior to the upgrade. Since I don't currently have any MSI versions of Office installed, 
I'm going to toggle these off. You also have the ability to automatically upgrade to the selected architecture. This means if you're running a 32-bit version of Office and you're deploying a 64-bit version of Office, it will handle the upgrade. This also works in reverse. If you have 64-bit version of Office installed and you want to deploy 32-bit, you would toggle this on. In this example, I'll set it to on. Click Next. Under Licensing and Activation, we have the ability to automatically accept the end user license agreement. Since we're doing a silent install, I'm going to toggle this to on. Under product activation, you have the ability to choose user-based, shared computer, or device-based. I'm going to leave it as user-based in this example, and you can learn more about each of these options with the hyperlinks. Click next. Under the general section, you can provide your organization name to set the company property for office documents and also provide a description for this configuration for documentation purposes. I'm going to leave these fields blank in this example. Click Next. Under the Application Preferences section, we can customize our Office settings to our preferred specifications. In this example, I will disable First Run Movie, change it from Not Configured to True, close that window, also, disable Office First Run on Application Boot. Select the setting. Change the setting from Not Configured to True. Close that. Disable Opt-in Wizard on First Run. Enable Customer Experience Improvement Program. In this example, I don't want the Customer Experience Improvement Program enabled, so I'm going to set the configuration to false. Click Close. I'm also going to set the Automatically Receive Small Updates to Improve Reliability setting. Double-click the setting, and I'm going to set this to false in this example. Click Close. Send Office Feedback. Double click the setting. I'm going to set this to false. Click close. And finally, turn on telemetry data collection. Double click the setting. I'm going to set this setting to false. Click close. Please note that the settings that I've configured here are completely optional and you will need to determine what settings are appropriate in your environment. Click finish. Under Configured Settings, you can see all of the settings and you can confirm your selections. Once you're satisfied, click Export. Select the default file format option of your choice. I'm going to keep current settings. Click OK. Read and accept the terms in the license agreement. Set the file name to Office 365. Click Export. Copy the Office365.xml file from C Downloads to C Downloads Office 365. Open an elevated command prompt by right clicking on Command Prompt. Select Run as Administrator. Change the directory to C Downloads Office 365. Run the following command to download the installation files. The command is setup.exe space forward slash download space the name of your XML file. In this case, office365.xml. Hit enter. As a side note, the download can take several minutes to complete, so please be patient. You can monitor the download progress by checking out the log file in the local app data temp directory. You can also monitor the progress by watching the setup.exe process in Task Manager. Okay, I can see that the setup.exe is no longer running in Task Manager. And I can also see 
an office folder in the C downloads office 365 directory. Once the download has completed, you are finally ready to install Office 365. Enter the following command to install Microsoft Office 365 silently. Hit enter. We can see the setup.exe process has been kicked off. The install will take several minutes depending on the speed of your system. After several minutes, you will find Microsoft Office 365 entries in the Start menu, the Installation directory, and Programs and Features in the Control Panel. And we can also confirm that the applications open successfully. For more free content, check out silentinstallhq.com. Thank you so much for watching.